Welcome back on this Good Friday. And uh, if you are in drip, every day is good. Every day is good. Drip, drip garden, uh, a little bit of piston token, a little bit of baked beans. If, you, if you're uh, doing the DeFi thing here and responsible projects, every day is a good day. Uh, you know, this is this is uh, something that I'm, I'm so passionate about and so happy that I got involved with. And uh, again, before we start, I'm not your barber. I'm not your ear cleaner. I'm not your uh, drainage ditch digger. I am not anything except a guy on the Internet. I am not your pastor, your priest, your rabbi, and I am certainly not your financial planner. So don't look to me for advice. Uh, I am just simply some dude on the internet that you know nothing about uh that's that's a data point for you i'm showing you what i'm doing and that's all that it is now if you are a jackass and i mean literally a jackass with ears a mane and you bray and you have hooves i'll be your financial planner so you, you can do that but i, I doubt that uh, you have opposable thumbs and can uh, you know open up a laptop and you know, click on this video. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna keep moving on here. So again, you can go and check out the uh, uh, the the video, uh, the first video in terms of what this channel is about. It's to help uh, um, nonprofits in the city of Detroit that are existing already to you know help fund them. There's already boots on the ground. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. Plus, I don't want to be anybody's boss. I don't want to be your boss. I don't want to be anybody's boss, and I don't want a boss. So uh, anyway. That's what this is about. And this is the, I'll go ahead and hydrate. I did hydrate this morning. I do it twice a day, but I'll just show you where we're at. We're going to be hitting 20 here for, this is the Healing the D uh, uh, faucet and uh, wallet. And so um, again, but at the end of this month too, I'm going to just be donating, uh, you know, 20 bucks uh, out of my own pocket, just so I can keep recompounding this. But uh, we'll go ahead and hydrate for you. Let's just see that uh, where we are and we're keeping up. Um, so, and then uh, we'll uh, switch back over to the main wallet and show you where we are there. I'm going to keep hydrating, but while I'm doing this, I just want to talk to you. The, the title of this video is XRP Heretics Find Salvation in Drip. And I am calling myself that because if you talk to any of the XRP maxis, and there's maxis there now too, just like there's Bitcoin and Ethereum, ETH maxis, XRP has maxis just as much as any of those other ones do. Don't, don't let them fool you. They, they talk like they're agnostic about their investments, but they're not. And so I'm not a maxi of anything myself, right? And and uh, I'm not a drip, you know, um, maxi. I love drip. And I think this is going to be my number one holding here in this whole ecosystem. I think what's going on here is phenomenal. I think it's a great opportunity. But I am, the, here's the maxi I am. I'm a, pa a compounding passive income maxi. That, that's what I am. And so I'm going to share with you guys everything that I'm doing, uh, you know, as, I, as we're moving along here. And as I start to generate some revenue here, just so you can see, that's what I'm about is generating revenue. And anything that's going to generate compounding passive income for me, and it's a good investment long term, I'm going to invest in it. So that, that's where I stand. But I have actually, the reason that I would be called by those uh, XRP maxis, a heretic is because I'm actually liquidating my uh, a huge chunk of my XRP holdings to move into um, uh, projects like Drip and Drip Network, and uh, you know, uh, basically uh, trying to have my money work for me. Because you know what, XRP doesn't make me any money right now. It makes me money if I buy low, and I have some you know receipts and transaction receipts that show where I got, you know, XRP for 11 cents back in, you know, 2020, when, you know, they had the big March crash, and I got a lot of stuff. I got XLM for four cents, I got some XRP for 11. So I've made some money, don't get me wrong. But here's my problem with having those HODL coins, right? The holding on for dear life coins is that they are not making me money right now. And there's, there's places you can stake some of them, but they're not making me this kind of money uh, in terms of what drip in the ecosystem here is doing, what Piston Token, My Diamond Team, Baked Beans, um, you know, they're not making me this kind of money. And so, you know, if you've read The Richest Man in Babylon, and I strongly encourage you to do that or listen to it on Audible, right? Um, you know, it talks about making all your gold pieces work for you. And, and, and if they're not, then, you know, you got to look at them. And so, you know what? What I find in XRP is that there's the wait for the lawsuit to settle. You know, Stubb Breezy talked about it too, right? Go check him out. He's an OG, um, the first one to max out his, uh, and I have a playlist of all the content providers I follow. But, you know, he talks about, you know, him, uh, XRP too. Listen, XRP is not doing anything for me. I'm sitting here waiting for, 
you know, this lawsuit to settle and then it's supposed to spike up and I have my fingers crossed and hoping I see, you know, some of those maxis keep pinging Elon Musk, hoping that he'll say, you know, XRP in one of his tweets and it'll cause the price to spike, but then it'll fall back down. And you know what? I'm tired of that. I, I don't even look at the the markets that much anymore because I come in and I'm claiming I'm picking up money off the floor and putting it back in my compounding machine, if you will. Right. When I wake up, there's money waiting for me. But this is the way to go for me personally. You know, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back as after I'm generating significant enough, uh, you know, um, revenue from my passive income, my compounding passive income streams. I'm going to go back and start buying some of those hodl coins just to hodl them, right? Because I want to keep diversified. But until I get there, they got to take a back seat. I'll go back in and buy. XRP is still a long-term hold for me. But I know what I'm saying is heresy in the XRP community. I mean, I would just be torched all day long if they knew that I was doing what I'm doing and they would call me stupid. Here's what's going to happen. Lawsuit will settle. I still have a bag. I'm always going to keep a bag, right? The lawsuit will settle. And, and what's going to happen is that they're going to go and they're going to, uh, it's going to shoot up to 10 to 14 bucks. You know, blockchain backer is one of those amazing TA guys. And, and I think he's hitting it right on the head, right? Going to gonna shoot up to 10 to 14 bucks. There'll be a huge sell off and dump. It'll fall back below its high of 496. And then what will happen is that I'll buy back in there, right? <laughs> it, it, I'm not that worried. It's not going to go to a hundred or a thousand dollars like overnight once the lawsuit settles, because here's why. The, the partnerships and the banks that they're waiting to get involved with, they, I'm sure they have some sign on the sidelines, right? It's still going to take a while for those to get implemented and it's ramp up and for all that liquidity. And I know they have the liquidity hub and all that other stuff going on. It's going to take a while for that to actually happen and for that solid floor to be in that hundred, even a thousand dollar mark, right? And, and the circulating supply is so huge. By the way, Drip only has one million circulating supply. So you do the math on that. I've already shown you guys um, you know, uh, uh, the market cap of in terms of what that looks like. I'm not going to do it again. And I'm going to hydrate while I'm kind of droning on here. So you can see my main wall and I'm up over uh, 213. So I'm, I'm basically hyper compounding here, by the way. And, um, you know, as, as I've said before, and so I'm getting, getting there a little bit quicker than most, but, uh, but anyway, I, I, I cannot justify just sitting here holding a huge bag, right? I'll hold a small bag and take my profits then as well, but but I'm looking at it completely different, right? And really what got me on this journey as well is that I, when I pushed in really tough with uh, X, XRP was for that Flare Network airdrop, which I got getting a big, big, uh, you know, um, um, airdrops coming from that project as well. If it launches on the fourth, I'm, I'm just kind of, you know, I, I'm, I'll believe it when I see it is, is where I am there. I'm not going to FUD, you know, a project that I think will be good, really. And then what happened with that is that they had uh, a, a canary net, uh, a canary um, um, network launch off of that called Songbird, right? So, um, you know, it's basically, I've been using some of that and that's other passive income for me. So both of those will be passive income and I'll share that more in the coming videos, but uh, that's it, man. That, that That's really what the bottom line is, right? And so um, that got me thinking because as I've been compounding and claiming my weekly rewards for my Songbird to us, uh, you know, uh, delegation to the FTSOs, I'm like, I need more of this. I, I know that Songbird's only six cents right now, five, six cents right now, but you know what? There's got to be other tokens out there that are getting it for me. And as I started, that's when I found salvation in Drip Network. So that's my story. And I know that anybody who's, you know, been a long time XRP holder and hodler and, you know, that they, they would, they're shaking their heads and, and there's clutching of pearls going on and gasping as I say what I said and what I'm doing. I'm not doing it. I'm going to go back and buy on the back end, hold long term, but it's going to be a smaller part of my you know, overall portfolio. So that's it. That That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Call me a heretic if you want. I don't really care. I, I really don't. That's why I don't have comments enabled, right? I'm, I'm sure that there's somebody there, you know, Gil, come on, man. Enable the comments. I got to tell you about yourself. You should be holding on to XRP until it hits $10,000 like Bitcoin. Come on, dude. I don't want to hear that garbage. You do that. And if you don't like my channel and what I'm doing that I'm covering other stuff, I'm not doing this to grow my, my YouTube channel, to be perfectly candid with you. I'm doing this just to share my journey. Hopefully it will change somebody's life. So I'm never going to ask you to smash anything except for smashing stupidity and dumb comments. That's why I don't have them enabled. Plus, I don't want you guys to get scammed, scammed by other scammers. And you know, all that, that drama that's going on in Discord and 
and uh, Telegram and all those other things about all the various projects. I don't know anything about it because I'm not on them. I don't go on them and I don't have one. So nobody's ever going to contact you. It's not going to be me, right? So just so you know. Um, but anyway, let's move on. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you, oh, we're almost close to uh, hydrating. I, I've been hydrating, you know, consistently. I did hit that. Uh, I'll give show you some stats here. I hit the uh, 11,000 mark earlier this week, and I'm not waiting for videos to compound. I'm going to compound. And again, I'll, I'll, I'll highlight the major, um, you know, milestones. I'm, next one is going to be 15,000, maybe by end of week or next Monday. We'll see. Um, but anyway, this is where I'm at, about eight bucks an hour. This fluctuates in terms of the USD price. Don't really concern myself with that. This LP, that's where it's at, though. That, that's what we want to grow, and I've covered that in prior videos. So making about 16 plants an hour now, which is, you know, that's great. Want to get to bit where I'm making, you know, a plant every minute. That's the long-term goal. So this rolled over. I'll go ahead and refresh, and I'll show you guys this one as well. Um, in terms of uh, hydrating that, we're at 17. So I'm going to plant those. Boom, we're gonna let that uh, uh, refresh and roll over. And again, man, this thing is, I, I just compounded, I don't know, maybe an hour ago or so, I can't remember, but uh, this thing is just pumping up, man. I mean, it, it's, it's and, and listen, when this, when the, all these next uh, things that launch with drip <laughs> launch, and I've been building and growing this, this, this uh, drip garden here, that's when it's gonna pay off, boy. I, I'm telling you all those paper handed noodle arms, you know, big, huge heads with little dehydrated pee for brains that are being held up by a noodle neck and, and just have their mouth breathers, right? And it's just nothing but drool rolling out of their pie holes, complaining about everything and selling. Good. They'll be, they'll be regretting it. They'll buy back in. And by the way, thank you. I love all you stupid day traders who are out there basically funding us 10% in and out on sale and, and claiming Good for you. Good for you. Go ahead and take your little money and run because all of us who are, you know, have diamond hands are going to be there for the long haul. So, uh, and we're going to benefit from it. And then you'll rush back in and you'll pay it and do, do it again because you won't learn. You won't learn your lesson. Paper handed noodle arms, man. I'll tell you what. Anyway, that's it. Uh, we'll show you a piston here. I'm doing about every point one. Um, I wait. Till I don't hydrate prior to that. So I'll go ahead and hit the nitro button there. And I think that I'm going to take when I get into my baked beans here, I'm going to do the follow the six, um, you know, basically hydrate for six and uh, rebake for six is the same thing as hydrating and, and eat, which is claim for uh, one day. And I'm going to do that after sundown on on Saturdays. I take my Sabbath on Saturdays and I'm not going to get into all that because I know Gil will be like, you got to go to church on Sundays, man. Let me enable a comment so I can tell something, tell yourself about yourself. I mean, I, I just don't understand you. Got to go to church on Sundays. You know, I don't want to hear about it. I, I'm not interested in hearing about it or from anybody. I'm not anybody's friend here. I'm not. And I know people, you know, Gil will be like, come on, man, you'll like me if you get to know me. Let's hang out. Not interested, dude. Not interested. Anyway, anywho. So you see Piston Token. I'm, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Let, let, let's look at the price here. I, you know, it's, it's hanging in there at nine bucks. It's a fork of drip. I got in on the free uh, pre-sale, sold uh, some of my pre-sale just to make some money back. I made a little profit, you know, especially after I was down 1500 bucks from those rug pulls, uh, you know, from uh, the, the, you know, the, the bad address on, on uh, poo coins for the piston token. And then also uh, with, with uh, fortune cows, those jackasses anyway. Um, so anyway, I, I'm hanging in there with it. I got it in. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not fudding it. I'm not down on it. I'm not hyped on it right now either. So, but I'm compounding. That's the right thing to do. Uh, but let's do this, man. Let, let's uh, listen. Stunna talked about this. And, you know, I think that before I get in here, I want to just give a shout out to Crypto. Crypto Baker, dude gave me a shout out back. I appreciate that, dude. I, you know, want to keep talking about your channel there. Uh, T Crypto, I want to give him a shout out. Ozzy, I give you a shout out. Although, Ozzy, I got to tell you, I like your stuff, dude. And I follow you, watch your videos. But, dude, I, it looks like you might have a wedding ring on, which is cool. But are you recording in your son's bedroom? Because it looks like you have a a Blue's Clues or Dora the Explorer uh, blanket on your bed with uh, some kind of leopard or something on there, dude. You got to you got to step your uh, your game up there. You do some editing on your stuff, but you got to get a better background or something there. But I love you, bro. Your content is fire. You're a good dude. I like following you, but I got to tease you a little bit about your <laughs> your bedding and your background there, dude. But some, you know what, though, if you're hardworking and trying to get there and that's the only place in the house you can record, 
if it's your son or daughter's Blue's Clues or Door the Explorer or Diego uh, betting there, been there, I get it. More power to you. I'm still going to watch your stuff. I'm just teasing you, giving you a hard time. So um, anyway, uh, giving some of those guys a shout out. And by the way, Crypto Baker, show us some of your bakery stuff, man. Tell us how you do what you do, man. Uh, you talked about those hot cross buns. I want I want you to show us your goods, man. I mean, you know, I don't we want we want to see you validate that you're not making hockey pucks after you pull something out of the oven. I don't think you are. If you're getting up at one in the morning to do that, you got to be good at your craft. But show us those hot cross buns, baby. Don't take that the wrong way either. By the way, I'm happily married for almost 27 years now, so I'm an old dude. I'm I'm, I'm a I'm a real old dude. I'm getting long in the tooth. So anyway, let's talk about baked beans. Beans, beans, a musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you. Oh, baby. Beans, beans are good for you, the heart. The more you eat, the more you. I'm so immature. But listen, I'm a dad. I, you know, I'm not going to ask you. I'll ask you to pull my finger. There you go. I, listen, I'm going to lose subscribers. I don't really care. This is my channel. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to do this all day long. My best investments have been crypto and this fart machine. Totally torched my wife with this the other day. She sat down on the couch next to me with the kids watching and just went one of these. <laughs> Perfect timing, right? As she sat down, she gave me that, you know, look that didn't, she didn't appreciate it, but <laughs> I was rolling. It gave me, gave me laughs for the next 10 minutes. Anyway, baked beans, brothers. Listen, this thing is printing right? If you want to call me something, call me the Fed, because I'm printing money right now, baby. And, and I, I don't know how long this is going to last, but here's my take on baked beans. And I'm going to let you guys go. This video is getting long again. I'm, I'm long winded, but that's all right. I'm trying to get, get as much content out to you guys as possible. This contract is growing. And, and I feel like, and this is just my feeling, right? I go with my gut a lot, right? You can see here, I hydrated a while ago, or uh, maybe about an hour ago, right? But I'm already back to 0 0.003. And every 0 0.001 is about 40 cents, right? So this thing is printing money for me. And, and I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I'm hydrating. I might put a little bit more in here. But this contract is growing. And this baked beans has the feeling of that doge, network right and that community that they have there i feel like drip has a super strong community and it's only going to get stronger and i feel like baked beans has a very strong community as well and and, and everyone's living to that you know basically hydrate six or, or um rebake six days and and, and uh eat the seventh right and i'm going to apply that to pretty much all of my holdings except for the piggy bank and i'll share that with you i have a different strategy i'm going to deploy there but when that launches back live by the way next thursday and there should be an ama today but next thursday is the target date to launch the ecosystem back fully uh, with Drip Network. And you got to keep your eye on there and keep your eye on the Drip price, price right? You might, might want to try and think about getting a little bit of Drip here while it's at its lows. Um, anyway, this contract has been growing. I was a little bit concerned when it was at the 28th to slow down a little bit, but then all of a sudden it picked up again. So we're at, we just busted through 30 yesterday, 29 and 30. And so that's great. And I'm at, uh, my, my goal is I want to get a billion. And I watched the video. I can't remember. I'll give him a shout out next video. But um, he had like 20 billion um, uh, or two, maybe it was 2 billion um, beans. And and dude, like $22,000, man, he, he, he ate that day. And he claimed 22 grand, man. And so I get all those guys that are out there fudding the project. They're concerned that you know, these things don't last that long. I feel like this one's maybe a little bit different because it does have community and people who are doing the right thing there and the contract keeps growing and it is making people a lot of money. But those fudsters that are out there, not all of them are fudsters necessarily. Some of them have questions because they've been burned in the past and I get that, right? But they keep saying, well, what happens when you start, you know, all those big guys start claiming? Well, this guy claimed and guess what? The contract's still growing. 22 grand is what he claimed of BNB, and the contract is still growing. Now, here's what they don't talk about. Six days prior to him claiming, he was basically rebaking 22 grand. So that's causing it to grow as well, right? They don't talk about those prior six days. They only get concerned about the one day that people are taking out and that it's unsustainable. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But as long as there's this network effect and people are doing the right thing and, and, and uh, you know, uh, rebaking more than they are hydrating, who knows? Maybe this thing has a much longer uh, tail on it. You just got to keep your eye. It is high risk. And again, unless you're the jackass I talked about earlier, a literal jackass, I'm not your financial, uh, financial advisor. But if you are a real jackass and you're on your computer and you've set up your accounts and you have a MetaMask set up and have a computer and you know you're, you're on there typing with your hooves and you're checking it i'll be your financial advisor it's all good 
But until then, and let me just show you, I'll just, I'll rebake for you here while I'm here as well. Um, I don't know, point zero, uh, let me refresh and see what I'm at here. 0 0.034, let me rebake for you and just see how much that nets us up. Cause I'm, I'm my next milestone obviously is 200 million, right? So, but but listen, I'll tell you what, and I'll show you real quick before we go, um, the, the calculator and the forecast for where I'm gonna be, I, I mean, it, it's gonna be generating in very quick fashion a lot of BNB &B for me. I'm very, very excited. I'm very, very bullish on this. As, as, as I mentioned, I'm big time bullish on baked beans. Hashtag big time bullish on baked beans. My brother Nitro wants to get in it. Shout out to Nitro. Hashtag shout out to Nitro. So let's refresh this and see how much I netted here. All right. So bump, bump me up another another million, right? So um, anyway, that's good stuff, man. So anyway, that's going to do it. Be kind to each other. Be generous. Rebake. Unsubscribe to my channel because I'm doing this too much. I really don't care. It's fun. Double for you. Put double finger pull, right? Be generous, be kind to each other. You know, hydrate, rebake, recompound. Look for those compounding passive incomes. It'll change your life. I am pretty confident by end of May, I will never have to return to my job as a project program manager ever again, which will be the greatest day of my life. So anyway, have a good uh, Easter weekend if you celebrate that or whatever uh, you celebrate. <coughs> and for those of you who appreciate uh, my humor, hey, you know, by the way, give likes out to any content you uh, providers on YouTube or whatever social media that are covering the projects you're invested in. It helps your own bags, man. And like I said, T Crypto said, why would I fud my own bags? It doesn't make any sense, right? So I love that young guy. I want to want to meet him someday. So anyway, peace out, Napoleon. <laughs> Take that for the road. <laughs> Some of you are enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are not. <laughs> I'm sure my subscriber, I, I don't even know how many subscribers I'm at right now, but I'm sure it'll be back to zero after I check it next time. <laughs> and there you go. The one for the road. <laughs> I'm so immature. <laughs> My teenage kids hate me sometimes, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Happy Easter.